Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a B-movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Jacko. So when you think of a B-movie, this is an archetypical type of a B-movie film. So it's very, very low budget. It stars a, a kind of bunch of B-movie screen queens and a couple of appearances from uh, B-movie legends that have actually have died and have just used that they've used stock footage to sort of just to add their names to the cast list ultimately. Basically the story starts and we're told that a hundred or so years ago there was a, a kind of evil sorcerer or wizard who was who was killed by the sort of local townsfolk and he sort of cursed them uh, to have this sort of demon sort of seek his revenge ultimately at some point in the future. Go uh, cut to the present day and it's kind of approaching Halloween and we have this demon arise and he's basically in the form of a jack-o'-lantern sort of scarecrow looking guy with a kind of a pumpkin on his head and kind of light up eyes and he specifically targets uh, this group of families called the Kellys and their young son who is actually the 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 son of the director who he sort of cast him in, I guess a bit of a vanity move to be honest and uh, you know along with pretty much any other sort of human that gets on his way and kind of goes on a slaughter and it's up to this, this family and this kind of mysterious woman that sort of appears and may or may not be a kind of friend to them you don't really know until maybe towards the end to sort of try and find a way to ultimately defeat Jacko and send him back to hell. Right, so let's get one thing off the bat first of all. This is a very, very low budget film and it kind of really does show. And this, I think it was 95 this was made and it really is a, sort of a, um, it really is a film of its time. The look of it is is very kind of old school and, you know, obviously sort of sh shot in uh, sort of fairly cheap locations and sort of studio lots and things like that. Uh, the actual monster itself is not a scary monster at all. It looks like just a kind of, you know, someone with a plastic pumpkin on their head, ultimately. And so it isn't, I quite like the idea behind it because, you know, you, you're kind of going almost like a bit like a kind of a, a sleepy hollow vibe, but... Uh, Unfortunately, in practice, certainly in this film, it is more of a sort of almost like a cartoon villain. Um, this this character, this Jacko, what he looks like, and there's some extremely kind of flawed logic where he just appears. I mean, he kind of shambles around a bit like a zombie ultimately, but he seems to be everywhere at once and kind of able to sort of move between sort of distances and and sharp sort of kill people who just kind of wander in his path and things like that. The acting overall is is pretty terrible. Um, these these guys, there's no really big names here. The, the kind of the biggest name is Leanna Quigley, who kind of is, is doesn't really even really star to be honest. And she's like she's a babysitter, and she's you know more of a supporting role. Yet she's top billing here. You've got a few other sort of screen queens that will pop up in sort of small cameos. Um, Dawn Wildsmith and Brinky Stevens both both pop up. But really, I guess the the kind of the the main character is this young boy who is this let's say the son of the director. And it's really just, a, it's a very simple tale of kind of, first of all, sort of evading this monster. No one kind of believes what's going on, etc. until the inevitable sort of climax at the end. But it, it's really, it's, you know, it's a, it's a very cheap movie. The acting is, is very cheap. The direction is cheap. The writing, everything is, is, you know, below par. And it really is one of these films that if you kind of, if you really want to watch a specifically a bad B movie that's kind of very, very cheesy, then you may get a kick out of this. But if you're kind of just watching it, expecting a, a horror film then I'm afraid you're going to be sorely disappointed so it depends what you want from it at the end of the day to be critical about this film I had to give this film probably be a out of 10 but if you're going to want to watch a cheesy B movie flick you can't really do much worse than this so what did you think of it leave me a comment and I look forward to seeing you next time bye for now